the brain and spinal cord can understand thousands of different pains or sensations, but only one of them at a time. So using that concept, spinal cord simulation came online. What we do is we implant a wire through the epidural space, that area that sits below the bone, but above your spinal cord and your back, and attach a small generator to that wire. And that generator makes that wire vibrate in your back. Now what we've done is we make your body feel that vibration sense instead of the pain sense you've had before. Again, brain and spinal cord can understand lots of different input, but only one at a time. So we're kind of tricking your brain into not feeling pain anymore. We do a trial. And we thread two wires through a needle up that epidural space, like we talked about, that sits below the bone but above the spinal cord. Once we get the, the, the leads where they think they need to be, we wake you up in the operating room. And we'll ask you, where are you feeling that sensation that we we're just making you feel? And when it's covering everything that hurts, we let you go back to sleep, and we secure those leads to your back, usually with a little suture, and attach them to a generator about the size of an old pager. I know I'm dating myself, but imagine a very small cell phone that you can wear in your pocket. And you'll go home for four, five, six, seven days. And you'll go through everything you normally do. And when you come back to me, I want one of two answers. This system either changed your life or it didn't help. And if you think it changed your life, now we're gonna go forward with the actual procedure. And that's the permanent implantation of a spinal cord stimulator. I'll make an incision in your back, about an inch and a half long, and another incision, maybe about two inches long, down in your low back or sometimes the upper part of your bottom. I'll thread those leads up again, secure them under the skin, then I'll place a generator that's honestly about the size of two half dollars in thickness and about the same size in diameter. You won't feel it under the skin. I'll place that in the pocket we've created in the lower back, connect the wires, close the skin, and send you home. If you're considering a spinal cord simulator, talk to your physician. Um, this is a procedure that's done more regularly than you would imagine. I put in three or four months. And you want to make sure someone's done them before. And again, ask questions.